Somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. Somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. Oh, set my heart and welcome to the girls weekend vlog this weekend we are going to be hanging out in Goyang and Paju and all sorts of fun places we're going cafe hopping we're going to temples we're going to really extra European villages and gardens so enjoy our first stop was the Ann Terrace Cafe in Goyang and just so you guys know up there in the north there are two there's one located in Goyang and there's one also located in Paju and both of them are extremely wonderful they are known for having really delicious baked goods and a very chill and nature vibing cafe and you know because we're extra of course we had to have a little photo shoot there as well but for breakfast i had one of the breads that was like a cheese bread so it was kind of like sweet and tart it was a very interesting flavor and i also had a pecan walnut pound cake which is something that i haven't had in ages and the coffee there is also pretty good but yeah we kind of sort of went to the wrong one so we went to the wrong one accidentally but both of these and Terrace cafes are like really pretty obviously so we're of course we're extra and we're going to the second one <laughs> and this is your cool pilot Gina Bear and we're going to the second one like nah. <laughs> take off your good afternoon everybody from the actual Ann Terrace cafe we wanted to go to this is the big one in Paju thank you <laughs> I had a wedgie but Heather helped me out this cafe is absolutely stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you guys are ever in Korea, like I highly recommend taking a day trip up to Paju because this cafe is serving me all of the looks. It's giving me all of the vibes. The drinks here are a really good price. We paid for an aid. I think it was like 6,500 won. It was like very reasonably priced. And for like this beautiful aesthetic place, like in the middle of the countryside, girl, I'm all for it. And also, this is what happens when I pretend to be this serious but cute aesthetic travel blogger. No, not really. I'm actually just a super huge goofball, and so are Heather and Linda. I would say bring a really good camera and a really cute outfit to Ann Terrace Cafe because there are so many beautiful and adorable places to take photos. Like, it is just so aesthetically pleasing and gorgeous. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. So, we went to both and terrace cafes and which one was y'all's favorite which one did you guys like the most the bigger one the second one in Paju. yes yeah Paju. so yeah. pretty both yeah, are really very nice like yeah. you don't want to go all the way to Paju though yeah both of them are really pretty definitely Paju has our vote so now we are headed to the province like fairy tale village i went there like two years ago and it was raining the weather was crap but i was like this is the most like darling fake european town ever and i just i want to go back so bad so now i'm dragging linda and heather you can't see me i am dragging see heather is very excited how do you feel hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. look at you guys in the village okay we have now made it to the province village and this little village is based off of like europe and european towns I'm super excited to be here because I just, right now, I would just like to be anywhere that is not Korea because, you know, coronation has left us not able to travel anywhere. So we're in the most darling garden and I was just taking pictures here. It's just so cute. I just can't. Province Village features a lot of really cute European inspired houses, boutiques art and restaurants and cafes i think the streets are really really cute and actually probably the best paved streets that i've been on in all of korea but as an expat living in south korea it's a really great escape from things that are like super korean because sometimes you just need a break during the world situation so linda tell us about the provincial village how does it make you feel underwhelmed <laughs> why it's just not like the real thing but it's still really cute it is cute it is cute yeah <laughs> yeah i can smell your white people smell we stink woohoo 
We are currently leaving Province Village. It's actually really small. I didn't realize how small it was, but it was precious and cute. I think I had the most fun out of everybody. And uh, we're heading to this also European inspired garden. See you there. So we are now on our way to the garden, but we're like literally side by side right now with the Imjingang River, which is the river that separates North and South Korea. So like we can see like the barbed wire and the lookout post is so freaking cool. If you guys want to see like really random stuff in Korea, there is a very oddly placed, yeah, very oddly placed pirate ship. Like why is this there? You guys, so right now we are at the gardens. It is golden hours. You can see like the light looks really good. Blinded a little bit. Right now I'm channeling my inner princess. I'm wearing my strawberry dress, of course. And these gardens are insanely gorgeous, you guys. It costs about 9,000 won to get in and believe me, it is worth every penny. They have so many different things that you can see. It's European inspired, Asian inspired. It's just like so beautiful. I just can't even, like it makes me want to cry. This garden was an absolutely perfect way to end a very long and exciting day. I thought it was just super beautiful with all of the fountains and the gate that's actually super Instagrammable and like people seriously love it nowadays. So please don't mind me as I do an Instagram versus reality post. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, this is not Disney. What are you talking about? Where is it? <laughs> Right? Today is amazing. Thank you. Shoes. Putting my shoes on. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes. We just got looked at. We were like, we were insane. We were running. Like, come back. You forgot your shoes. There's my shoe. I found your shoe. There is no print. It's actually just midnight. It's actually me. What are you talking and about? I it's just... me. <laughs> it's <laughs> me. The it's fucking prince, it's me, look at me, like ha 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 ha. Nah, it's not midnight, it's midday and I'm just drunk and lost my shoe. <laughs> Mid oh, midday is my time, man, midday. <laughs> look at my prince found my shoe. I got it. That's what I'm here for. And of course, we had to end the day of with some delicious sangria and some pasta. And because we're girls and because it's always cheat day on the weekend, we had to have some bingsu as well. And I highly recommend the strawberry macaron bingsu because it is so freaking good. Good morning, everybody. Today we are headed to the Umpyeong Hanok village. But first and most importantly, we are going to the most beautiful Hanok cafe. You guys are going to cry. <laughs> so when I first moved here, <laughs> This beautiful Hanok cafe is called Il In Il Sang, which means one person, one drink. And of course, since it's in a Hanok, they have all Korean inspired drinks like Omija, and they even have fun stuff like lemonade if that is your flavor. I just think it's like a really beautiful mix between like super luxury Hanok, and the views, of course, are stunning. And it is a really perfect place to go and hang out with your friends. And especially the third floor has the best views in the entire cafe. So if I were you guys, I would go early. That way you guys can get like the absolute best photos because it is just so beautiful. And of course the outdoor is very beautiful as well. And it's really fun because a lot of like really popular cafes are in Hanok houses. So that's kind of a fun quirk to Korea as well. And also, please enjoy this fun slow-mo of all of us going down the street because I thought it was cute. Happy Sunday, everybody. So today is day two of our super amazing girls weekend. And we are here at, what's the name of this temple? I forgot. What is it again? Opcho, 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 Opcho. Opcho, 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 what? Opcho. Wait, wait, wait. Opcho. Okay. Um, Hermitage. All right. Okay. Okchon Am Heritage. It's Hermitage. so beautiful. Hermitage. Yeah. Sorry. There is. Hermitage. It's a Hermitage. There is a Buddha right behind us, like right here. It's a stone Buddha that was. I don't know anything about it, but I'll let you know when I find out. 
So what is the internet for if not looking up cool stuff? So Okchan Am or Okchan Hermitage is actually a white stone Buddha that was carved into a mountain. And this is the famous Buddhist monument in which King Tejo, who is the founder of the Joseon dynasty, is allegedly said to have prayed before he moved the capital to Seoul. On to the next location. We are going to a golden temple. And let me show you guys more behind the scenes because for whatever reason, you guys really, really love that. So I just changed again. Here are my pants because it's actually really hot. It's only like 73 degrees right now. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. And here's like all my stuff on the floor. Like here's my jacket. Here's my bag. Look at all this stuff in the back. Heather's not stuff. That's pretty stuff. <laughs> it is the last stop of our girls weekend today we are at the Suguksa temple which is a beautiful golden temple here and it's really pretty the inside is really pretty it's small but I mean come on look how cool this is it's gold the last place on our list is Suguksa temple which is a golden temple it is dedicated to the crown prince Lee Kyung who died when he was just 20 years old and his father King Sejo wanted to honor his deceased son's memory and built this temple to help to help treat royals that were afflicted by mental ailments and anxiety and thus the name became Suguksa which means the temple that protects the country just so you guys know, this is still a very active place of worship, so please be on your best behavior, cover up, and be quiet and respect the worshipers there. So Linda is awesome and drove me back to the ghetto, aka Hanum, and I have a little surprise for you guys. Honey. Hello, mommy. Okay, everybody thank you so 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 much for following me along on this amazing girls weekend and it was such a blast i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did enjoyed visiting paju and goyang and all these amazing places and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit that notification bell and follow me on instagram where all the fun stuff goes on and i will talk to y'all lovelies later gina bear signing out I'm waiting and always hesitating